welcome Year 11 to the A-Level Photography course. So this evening I'm going to be going through the course structure and what you would expect if you embark um, on uh, the course starting with Year 12 and moving on to Year 13. It is a highly successful course. Um, so looking at A to C's and our achievement, um, it exceeds national expectations. 98% of students achieving um, an A, A star actually to C. So um, all students meet or exceed their Alps, um, but they do work hard and they do utilize their study periods and spend a lot of time in B22, where we have our computer suite, where we have our dark room, and we have an attached studio space, which is next door. So moving forward, course overview. So um, there's lots of information on these slides that you can have a read of later. I'm just going to give you this kind of skeletal overview. And looking at the course structure, um, basically you have two main components. You have your coursework, which is 60%, and you have your externally set ta uh, ta task, externally set task, which is 40%. So um, we actually start um, assessing, officially assessing in year 13, and that's when you start your personal investigation. Um, in year 12, it's very much a foundation course. So in year 12, you're learning um, all the, the aspects um, so you're able to achieve and you're able to succeed um, both in your PowerPoint, in your research journal, in all your practical areas. Um, and like I said, it's giving you that foundation in practice, in good practice. In year 13, um, you also um, write a personal study and that underpins your journey. And that is essentially an illustrated essay um, up to 3000 words. So that's the basic overview and structure. Uh, the examining board is AQA. Now I'm just gonna move forward so you will be um, in year 12 doing a whole range of experiments. So um, in the dark room, you'll be learning about photograms. You'll be um, doing all sorts of cameraless technology actually. So cyanotypes, chemigrams, uh, pinhole camera. So very exciting and experimental. And obviously um, you will be expected to have a camera, we do advise that you have a camera and we'll look at that in a few moments, but essentially digital um, camera work um, is also a big part of the course. You will be learning all the different settings um, to do with aperture priority, speed priority, um, looking at digital manipulation, working with Photoshop, um, so a whole range of and wealth of skills that you will be building on in this A-level and exploring. Um, we have the four assessment objectives. Um, it's very, it's the same actually as GCSE, so you're very, very familiar with that. Um, but it's just at that higher level. So with assessment objective one, you will be underpinning your uh, project work with artist research and development, which is very, very key and very important. Um, you'll be experimenting, as I said, with lots of different processes. Um, you will be observing. So we observe in photography um, through the visuals that we take through the lens, um, and also actually through our annotation and our analysis. And we do a lot of image analysis. Um, and assessment objective four is when you get to produce um, a large and final outcome, a, a final response to your project work. We work um, generally in a PowerPoint. 
Um, so that is where your main bulk of or body of work goes. But you also have a supporting sketchbook where all your practical work, so all those dark room experiments that you do, uh, goes into that little sketchbook. Um, so large responses, your final responses are outside of your PowerPoint and outside of your sketchbook. And I will show you some amazing examples of those a little bit later. There's one there on the top right um, that was produced uh, by one of our students that actually attained an A-star um, exceptional work. So moving forward. So I did mention um, image analysis, which is really important. So you will learn about that um, in your journey, in your foundation, in year 12. And we, um, we start off the project looking at still life and getting you familiar um, with, with, basic, with basics, really. So looking at composition, working from photographers and learning from them, creating pastiches, so it's copies of their style, and looking at um, lots of fundamentals in reading an image. Contact sheets is really important. So in order to reach success in photography, you're expected to take hundreds, hundreds of photographs. And those photographs get logged into a contact sheet. Um, and that contact sheet then is analysed. So you're able to identify which are the key shots, which are the most successful shots. Um, and then those obviously um, you identify and you celebrate in your PowerPoint. Um, as I said, the core structure, I've already um, gone over that, but here we go again. So we've got the portfolio of work, which is 60% of the grade. Um, again, as I said, it is a PowerPoint, essentially, um, looking at artists, um, looking um, at your own responses to artists, um, including your contact sheets um, and then your kind of large responses also to get documented in that PowerPoint. And, and the final assessment objective, which is the assessment objective for you create a larger piece outside of your um, PowerPoint. Um, you also have the externally set task, uh, which is 40% and it's just exactly the same model. Um, and at the end of um, of your little journey, you do sit an exam over three days, it's 15 hours, and you get to create your personal response um, in those silent exam conditions. Styles of learning. Um, the important thing actually is uh, there is lots of experimentation, uh, lots of refinement with your photography. Um, so you're going to learn about how to use the camera, you're going to learn um, how to be creative with your outcomes, um, uh, you will learn about your shutter speed, your aperture, your ISO, so you will have a fantastic foundation and you will be an expert in your field, um, essentially enough to go on to higher education or even to start yourself um, if you were so inclined. Um, so um, you were studying lots of different artists and photographers and practitioners, you will learn a lot um, through that and you'll gain in your confidence and understanding. Um, be prepared to be using a computer a lot of the time and it is um, recommended, uh, I would say, um, you really do need to have access to a computer at home and you also need to be able to purchase your own camera. If you find that this is the course for you, um, then having your own uh, digital SLR um, is, is important for success. Um, is it hard? Yes, I would say that is a challenging course, but highly enjoyable. Um, you will be utilising a lot of your study periods, as I said before, um, and as I've suggested, having a digital SLR um, is important. We use Canon uh, within the department, so we would recommend that, um, but essentially um, an entry level is fine. Um, they are expensive. Um, but, you know, we could give you lots of advice on that in the future. 
and I think there's one of the slides actually has a list of cameras uh, that we can recommend as well. Uh, your photography sketchbook, um, essentially you're working, as I said, PowerPoint, but we do have a practical sketchbook as well. Um, we also have um, a research journal, which is that practical kind of sketchbook. Um, and that really is kind of rough notes and rough research, as well as all the visuals that you do in your dark, in the dark room. Um, so uh, being open to all sorts of approaches to photography, it's not a case of just taking uh, an image, it's how you can experiment with this image. It is um, an, an art-based photography course, so very, very creative and inventive um, outcomes. Um, so it's really exciting actually what you can achieve, whether it's, it's weaving or scratching or creating three-dimensional forms. Um, so many different opportunities for you um, to embrace it creatively. Um, here is the list of cameras, um, like I've suggested before. Um, and as I said, there's lots of, there's a wealth of information on these slides, so please feel free to go back and to refresh as we go along. Um, we would recommend as well um, that you have um, and maybe an external hard drive. Uh, there's lots and lots of, of, of images um, that you'll be taking in your PowerPoint will uh, get quite large at a certain point, especially in year 13. Um, we do use Google Classroom at the moment as well, which is fantastic um, for both assessment and for moderation, and also for, uh, for keeping your work online, which is, which is great. Um, lots of examples of creative work here. I've got um, cyanotype, which is really, really exciting. A lot of students like cyanotype. In fact, at the moment, I have a student that's doing lots of exactly that. When the sun is shining, um, he gets the chemicals out, which is great. Um, and as I said before, artist research underpinning. Um, this particular student is looking at Carl Blossfeld. Um, and doing lots and lots of research, producing some very strong pieces and a whole range of those pieces. Uh, a lot of this work would be in the studio. So we teach students how to use studio lighting. Uh, so they become very familiar and very confident with that, which is, which is fantastic. Um, and also stitching in, cutting in, um, even burning photographs. There's so many different ways that a student can manipulate those images. Um, so as well as using Photoshop, it's that physical aspect that a student would be prepared um, to, to actually be, and be open to experiment with. Um, I know at the moment the students have been doing um, tea, tea bag trapping, so actually um, sort of an encaustic thing, so using wax, uh, which is really exciting. Um, here we can see a whole range of examples, um, which I think it's lovely to actually show on this slide. You can see the digital manipulation on the right. You can see the quality of the photographs. You can see the cyanotype, mirror-based work. Um, students really creative, um, the way that they present. Um, so we've even got an old door there um, when the student was looking at the, at the built environment. So many, many different approaches. And actually we have at this top left hand side here, a video um, that you can play in your own time, looking at the way that um, shadows can be cast. And we call it, when we set up a space like this, we call this installation. So it's actually an experience, an immersive experience that students can create, uh, very successful and engaging. There we go. So just to show you that, um, the effect. So looking at the way that the shadow is cast onto the table, it just gives that extra um, atmosphere to the, per to the student's work. I think when we're looking at something like this, we realise that essentially photography is drawing with light. 
Okay. So lots of skills. Again, we've put this together so that you have um, a comprehensive um, overview because it is a technical uh, subject. Lots and lots of things for students to learn and absorb new knowledge. Um, obviously this year we have uh, had a GCSE uh, uh, photography course, which is new. Um, so students will come with um, more understanding if they want to move forward to A-level. But essentially, you know, if you have a creative background, if you haven't done GCSE photography, um, you know, a lot of most students that come on, like I said, um, succeed very well, exceptionally well. So that's not to worry if you haven't um, done GCSE photography. And the future, there is a whole range of photography careers. Um, I know at the moment that one of our students is going on to study wants to study screenology at Bristol um, but so many so many opportunities um, for students whether they want to go to university or they want to set up their own business uh, it's very very exciting and very empowering so I hope um, this evening has been very informative if you have any questions at all then please um, get in touch so it's rachel.miller at budehaven.cornwall.seh.uk and I will get back to you. Thank you very much.